Hello again, volleyball fans, and welcome to the 3A State Volleyball Tournament right here on the Arkansas Sports Network. And in conjunction with the Arkansas Activities Association, we're gearing up for a fun week of volleyball right here at Valley Springs High School. The 3A State Volleyball Tournament is being brought to you by Arkansas Tech University by our good friends at Razor Polish, by D3 Auto Sales in Desark, and by Heirloom Legal Services. Now let's send it down to the gym for all of today's action. All right, we'd like to welcome everybody back here to the campus of Valley Springs High School as we get ready for day two of the state tournament. We've got the Hackett Lady Hornets and the CAC Lady Mustangs ready for round two action. We're going to get the starting lineups from the stadium announcer. We'll let you hear that in just a moment. Somebody's on the mic. All right, that was the national anthem followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and the uh, Moment of Silence. Get your starting lineups now. Live mic up there. Gotcha. <laughs> Lots of movement. <laughs> That was the starting lineups for each team. Taylor Nichols for Hackett, number six. Number two, the libero Lily Oxford. Number 13, Aubrey Ruggles. Number 15, Prairie Vaughn. Number 16, Michaelin Freeman. Number 17, Lex Gann. Number 20, Alona Rothwell. Number 22, Mackenzie Freeman. And like I said, the libero was Lily Oxford. Over for CAC, the libero was Jordan Dodd. Number one, number five, Callie Atcherson. Number nine, Madison Bisbee. Number 11, Kayla Myers. Number 17, Abby Twitty. 
Number 21, Shelby Cowley, and number 24, Jaden Smith. This is Duran Miller bringing you to play-by-play. -play. I've got my main man, Brad Caldwell, helping bring color today. And we've got Aaron Powers producing along with Nate Sparks, and they're switching off on producing and working camera. And we'll be joined by some, uh, I don't know if they call it the Valley Springs East Club here, the AV team, but uh, some kids are going to come up here and help us about 1 o'clock with camera as well. Brad. Yes. What do you think about being over here at Site 1 now? Well, I'm excited. I'm excited to be here, number one. It, it gets all of our equipment here together. That helps. Right. <laughs> and uh, we can definitely give a better broadcast, no doubt about that. And so we're excited about that. And we're just we're excited about just being here and, and, and doing some state volleyball tournament. Yes, sir. All right, Jaden Smith going to start the serving out for the Lady Mustangs. Got a big set, a big kill attempt, a big hit that was from 22. Mackenzie Freeman, her and her sister, Michaelin, number 16 is Michaelin, number 22 is Mackenzie. They are a formidable foe for this Hackett team. This Hackett team really looked good yesterday. And they get the first point and they get that serve. Prairie Vaughn. Straight over in the middle. That was Kayla Myers with the pass. They get it forward, it's hit across. Hackett's there, now back across. That was Mackenzie Freeman, and we've got a net violation on CAC. 2-0, Lady Hornets. CAC playing a very good team here. They've got to clean it up a little bit. They can't have a whole lot of uh, unforced errors. They can't help Hackett any is what I'm trying to say. And that's who they got to go to right there. Kayla Myers, the player of the game yesterday. But this time, Hackett works it out on the defensive end. Over on two, and they're going to say it was down. Didn't get the hand under it quite enough. Three nothing, Lady Hornets just like that. Prairie Vaughn still serving. Are y'all hearing a little in and out on your ears? No. Okay. All right, number five, Callie Atcherson serving. As that last one went long. And that one's into the net. CAC with back-to-back -back points, 3-2. to two. CAC going to be a uh, formidable foe today. And, uh, you know, Hackett, you know, a lot of people say they're the favorite. So CAC's got to play with a lot of emotion today. And like you said, don't give them anything. That's right. Big hit. CAC took down a good Dover team yesterday that, that had been playing their best ball. And they were impressive doing it. And Hackett come out early and really took care of business. And right there, they're going to say that, that was one on the, on the CAC side. Hackett a little confused with the call, 3-3. Three, three. CAC has a chance to take their first lead at the serve line here. Callie Atcherson. Got it over. They're going to, get, they're going to call a lift, I believe, on number 20, Alona Rothwell. Appreciate everybody viewing with us. We've got 34 live at the moment, kind of early on. Solomon Barnes says, hi, guys. Thank you, Solomon. Appreciate all the comments. We'll give you some shouts out. Let's keep it clean in the chat, though. Have a little fun out here. Let us know if you're rooting for CAC or if you're rooting for Hackett as you've seen McKenzie Freeman hit that big kill. This is my first time getting to see these two teams. I'm impressed on both ends so far. There's an ace for Mackenzie Freeman. This one into the net. So they go ahead and fault, just like CAC did earlier. And CAC's going to get the ball back. We got Madison Bisbee. She had a good day yesterday for the Lady Mustangs. She'll be serving. Freeman's there. Set all the way across the court. Was it touched? I think it might have been. They're going to say no. Point CAC. And I believe that's, uh, I'm trying to see her numbers. At 16, that's Michael Lynn Freeman. She can't believe it. She was really wanting uh, the call to be changed there. She felt like they touched it. This time she says it don't matter. I'm hitting this one inside the line. That's that's called uh, 
Aggression. Frustration. Right. <laughs> little aggression there. <laughs> Pinned up. Letting it loose. Her and her sister are really good outside hitters. Macy Wall got that one across, but Hackett was there defensively. They get it back over. Michael Lynn defended well by the libero that time. Rothwall was a good pass, and 17 comes up. Lexi Gann, and she's able to score a point. Rothwall will keep the serve for her Lady Hornets. And that's an ace as the libero can't handle it. Jordan Dodd, too tough that time. 8-6, Hackett with a two-point lead. Pam Hill says, go CAC. Watch him from work, but don't tell my boss. Well, hope he's not watching, Pam, so just bug you <laughs> out. <laughs> Nikki Doris says, Hackett Hornets all the way. And Debbie Hester says, go Hackett. And we got another ace right there for Alona Rothwell. If we ever say a name wrong, please let us know in the comments. We'll get it corrected. We appreciate anything like that. Now, if you tell us we say libero the wrong way, we might have some pushback. But other we, than that. We might take a little offense to that. And <laughs> there's a little bit of a, a backstory to that. You want to tell it, Brad? Yeah, we just, the first tournament that we ever did, we all I've ever heard is the word libero. Never heard the word libro. Apparently, it's a European thing. And uh, we were getting comments. Libro, it's actually just one, really. <laughs> yeah, one guy. One guy, but anyway, <laughs> you know how that goes. There's that one guy. So we changed it to Libero because we thought he knew more than us and found out quickly that, no, it's, it's Libero. Yeah, we had to check our sources. In America, at least. I will say this. Yeah. I, my, my wife has coached a little volleyball, so, I mean, it's not like this is the first game I've ever watched. You know what I mean? <laughs> not to say that I am an expert by any means. Right. Big hit from Aubrey Ruggles. She splits two defenders on the back line. Gives her team a two-point lead, 10-8. Ruggles, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, committed to Central Baptist College. Nice. Taylor Nichols in serving for the Lady Hornets. Kayla Myers, this, or that was actually number 17, Abby Twitty. She's another one that likes to get up. But this time it's blocked. Give credit to the defense of the Lady Hornets. They are tough. The CAC team impressed me yesterday. They, they're good on both ends, the front end and a good backside, back defense there on that back line. Big hit from Michael Lynn Freeman. It goes off a lady Mustang for a point. Michael Lynn was really impressive all day yesterday. Bill Harshaw, our executive producer, watching from P Ridge is part of my job. Well, sorry we forced you to watch. It, right? <laughs> Bill, we miss you, buddy. Yeah, for sure. It, it sure ain't the same without you here. That's for sure. When things get excited, I can rub that old bald head, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy that likes to grow that hair upside down. Big beard, no hair. There's another point. No, yeah, there we go. I think we had a maybe a net violation. But it's 13 to nine, or is that eight? I, I can't see the scoreboard where I'm at very well. Okay, 13-9, and Michael Lynn Freeman is serving. And CAC, got to know they can't let any separation come here right now as we get into the teens. And as I say that, the lead goes to five. That serve into the top of the net. Two camera setup that we got going today. I know people probably appreciate that. Get the chance to see their people a little bit up closer. Get straight into the libero. That set is close, but great job adjusting in midair and just poking it over with the left hand. That was Ruggles. The libero digs that one out, and then it's dinked over. Can they handle it? They can't. Smart hitty play from Prairie Vaughn. But 13 started all that with a. It was a miss set too close to the net. She just poked it over. A lot of players don't have the moxie to do that in midair, and that's the difference in teams like Hackett and why they are a big favorite right now. 
This is a close game though. CAC definitely putting up a hard test right now. There is a good job by the libero, and it hits the antenna point. One thing that I believe that I see from Hackett, and really when you talk about the very top teams, they really force your defense to be on point. Oh, yes, because they have so much. They just come downhill at you. you know, they got all that offensive outside hitting, I all know, that height. Those offensive tackles and those, those offensive linemen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Coming downhill at you, right? You will make fun of my uh, – my uh, crossover from football to volleyball call, but no, they. I think that's what it is. You know, you got to get up and you got to get it downhill. But we're gonna have a timeout here. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate you can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. Or have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And we're back here at the Valley Springs. 17-10, Hackett getting that separation they wanted Seven point ball game, and they've got Lily Oxford back serving. She usually does a great job back there. Right into the middle. Great job working by Brighton to get it back over, but that hit's going to go wide, not touch. 18 10 Hackett. CC's got to buckle down right now. They got to close this gap immediately. Hackett feeling good. Michael Lynn Freeman doing the, the gritty over here for a moment. Michael and Freeman, her parents were ph uh, phenomenal athletes. You can tell. Both Charleston and at Mansfield. Wow. Two rivals. Yes. Actually had a fun conversation about that with Coach Freeman uh, on the phone because I had shared an experience that I had uh, with her husband who played. I played him in the regional tournament. I believe he was a senior and I was a sophomore. Basketball? Yes. We played one of our better games that we had played in high school. And uh, he went off for about 30 and about 15 of them in the fourth quarter and beat us. Mm. And she said, I tell my kids all the time about how good that we were. They don't necessarily believe it. So here we are. <laughs> yeah. Was he a trash talker like Jordan? Did somebody say the wrong thing to him? I, he, I don't remember that. He seemed to be more of a quiet assassin, but he right. did. He did do his thing. That hit was violent, but it was out. 19-11. Smith, Jaden Smith back to serve. They needed that point. They need to get on a roll right now. She needs to be back there for four or five points before this changes hands at the, at the least. And there she goes with an ace. As Michael Lynn Freeman can't dig that one out. Yeah, her and her sister are both, I mean, I think, I think if I remember correctly, McKenzie's a senior or she's a year older. I think they're senior and junior. And you could tell McKenzie's got a little bit more height on her. Just barely, but they're both built a lot of light. They're both athletic. And they're a problem for opposing teams. Back-to-back -back aces, though, right now for Jaden Smith. And they needed this. Let's see if she can continue this little run to close the gap. That one's right to Michael Lynn. Good set. Big kill, but it's out. Alona Rothwell couldn't find the line that time. Perry Vaughn set her up pretty well. Three in a row to make it. Is that three counting the serve I, or counting the point back? I think that's three total. No, it's four. Four in a row. It was 19-10. So. McKenzie Freeman dug out. Great job by Dodd. Blocked at the net. Dug, and the block will count. So that will be won't be four. It'll be four hits, but you can do it when it's a block. That one pass right back over the net, and it's too much for CAC to handle, and they break the serve. Was happening. You know, I know. I know that there has had to have been talk amongst the coaches, you know, uh, throughout the state about this Hackett team. Scorebook Live put them as the number two team in the state of Arkansas. It's very rare that you get a 3A team to be that high, but uh, boy, Hackett really is showing why that they are that strong. Oh yeah, and give credit to the CAC Absolutely. team. Absolutely. Because yesterday, I mean, this we would have been a set two for a while now. 
They, I mean, they just took care of business, and that's not a knock on their opponent. This is a high-level volleyball team right here. And, and CAC is a really good team. They really are. 22-14. Not surprising. CAC's got a nice athletic program. They've got a really good boys basketball team. Their football team is really good this year. And so they, that's Myers on the pass. They've got to start setting her up. They go over on two this time. Myers is one of their big weapons, and they, they haven't gone to her much at all and give that credit to Hackett because they're constantly, like I like to say, they're coming downhill at you. They're putting you on your heels. They're all, always attacking you, setting themselves up, and CEC's basically had to play on their heels the whole game. And, that's, and right there's a block. And that's why they're good. That's why they are who they are. And it so is, you've got to figure out how to be the aggressor against the aggressive teams like this. Set point, Prairie Vaughn serving. Hit right into the middle on the back line. That was Shelby Cowley. Poked over the net. The libero's there. Vaughn going to set up McKenzie Freeman. That's a kill. Set one. Hornets, 25-14. They win that one by 11. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. 28th. Bump it. Find your couch and spike it. Get around the big TV with all your friends and set it. Arkansas PBS and the Arkansas Activities Association is bringing you the 2023 Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC. For all the ways to watch, just head over to the website, myarpbs.org slash sports. Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. I don't. She's talking about the camera, or is she uh, talking about? We're we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. You come back in. <laughs> we're in. We're live. Okay. With 30 seconds early, we're back here. We've got 30 seconds before they get started on set two. Reading to some of the comments here. Kyle Stiles says, "Let's go Hornet." Solomon Barnes says, <laughs> "He's uh against the refs there." Uh, who else we got? Teresa Dubo says, McKenzie is a junior. Michael Lynn is a sophomore. Thank you. So they're going to have both of them back. Wow. Look out the rest of the state. And, well, let me tell you this. They're moving to 2A next year. No. Yeah, they are. Oh, my. That ain't even fair. Yeah, they are. Now, Mansfield has a very strong program as well. Coach Pyle, or she's not Pyle. She's Freeman. I want to call her Pyle. She's a, that's her maiden name. Coach Freeman was at Mansfield before she was at Hackett. So, little interesting backstory there, but Mansfield is a very good program over there. They're doing a good job, so. Teresa Dubos also says that McKenzie has signed with Tulsa to pitch softball, but she oh. has an older sister that plays volleyball for Central Baptist. So okay. There's, so there's another Freeman girl. And right now, they got the left-handed hit from Lexi Gann, but CAC 
was able to get it back across, but then it's ended. McKenzie put an end to that little volley. One nothing, Lady Hornets start out early. Nick Bartmeer says, hey Brad, from Hornetland? Yes, yeah, oh, Nick Bartmeyer. He's a Bartmeyer. good friend of mine. So is Kyle Stiles, by the way. I know both those guys very well. Appreciate them watching, but yeah. Uh, Nick and I played some summer basketball together way back in the day. <laughs> Good hit from Rothwell as she finds it right, little space right behind the, the backside of the defense there, getting in, stick it inside that line. Prairie Vaughn, their setter, serving it now. That one goes into the net though. So you see we'll get their first point of set number two, Madison Smith. I'm sorry, that's Jaden Smith to serve. Madison Smith was the great server for Episcopal. They couldn't pull it out in five sets yesterday. Coach Bartmeyer there at uh, Hackett, he was at Johnson County Westside the last few years and okay. got them to a regional final, I believe. In basketball? In basketball, yes, sir. That's right. He had girls like uh, boys. Kelsey. He was oh, the boys, boys. coach. Okay. Yep. okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't know the boys. Now, I, he, he may have been the girls coach, too. I'm not sure. It wouldn't, show, it wouldn't surprise me, but. I'm thinking of Kelsey Chris yeah. and. Uh, Hurt, Aaron Hurt's daughter, of course, one of them transferred over to Lamar, I think, their senior year, but good girls program through there for a while. That one's into the net, point back for CAC. Yeah. Only two points so far for CAC in set two are off of faults on the serve. So they got to go on a run right now. Callie Atcherson was a good one back there to do it. Let's see what she does here. That serve right to the libero. That's close to a double hit. That one's deflected out of bounds. It's going to work out for Hackett. And that's what they do. They just keep bringing pressure. And, you know, you got girls like that Alona Rothwall. We we talk about her quite a bit. But, I mean, look at her. Look at her size up front. You know, she, she might be taller than Mackenzie Freeman, I think. You know, they're right there neck and neck. Her, Michael Lynn, and Rothwell. Got a violation on CAC to make a four point lead. Poked back over. CAC is going to get an op opportunity here, but it's blocked. Macy Wall reached back and hit that one hard, but they timed it out perfectly on the defensive side. 7 2. And Nick says that he just coached at J.C. was at boys at J.C. Okay. That one's touched. Now he continues to serve. Go ahead. He's the girls coach at um, Hackett, which judging by the volleyball team, which I have no idea how many play over, but you would think he might be able to fill a pretty good squad from the volleyball team too. Right. All right, we've got a timeout. CAC head coach Lynn Brown wants to talk about it with her team. They, they're down 9-2. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. All right, we're back here at Valley Springs, second round action. It's been all hacking early on, CAC did uh, put up a pretty good fight in that first set. I think it was 25-14 was the final. Right now, 9-2, hack it off to another great start in set two. Lady Mustangs, they got to get some momentum right now. They got to turn the tide a little bit. Yeah, it, it's it definitely, as you say, going downhill a little bit here. But, you know, again, it's not about as much of what CAC isn't doing as much as it is about what Hackett is doing. And, uh, you know, and somehow CAC has got to find a way to turn the momentum into their direction. So, Alana Rothwell, we got a misrotation. Somebody 
something to do with getting in and out of that 10 foot line or a movement or something up front. It's cold. 10 2 now. If they haven't shared it already, they probably need to get it out there. Let everybody know they're watching right here on ASN. That's right. We really appreciate it. We're trying to grow our, our followers on YouTube. And if you could, or our subscribers, subscribers yeah. I should say, followers and likes on the Facebook pages, uh, we'd really appreciate it. We grew, I think, about 400, maybe 600 yesterday. We've already gone up about 50 or so today. So thank you all that has subscribed here on YouTube to us. We really appreciate it. We can't do it without the fans. That's right. And while we got the stoppage in play, we'd like to throw it out there that if you want us to come do a basketball game, we're not just football. We're not just state tournaments. We're, we're basketball as well. We love doing the basketball state tournament. And uh, we just enjoy it. If you've got a holiday tournament that you think that we can, you know, make it worth our while and make it beneficial for you, we would love to, to look at that, you know. Um, you know, anything like that that we could do to, to help you and help us, we're for it. Yep, that's talking about the Arkansas Sports Network game of the week for regular games and, like you said, uh, tournaments, holiday tournaments. Obviously, we do the state tournament. Um, last year, we did regional at Moralton. It was the, was it the 5A North? 4A North 4A Regional, North, yes. Yeah. And action-packed regional there a lot of fun had a, oh yeah had a Razorback commitment on there for with Jenna Lawrence and uh, you know we've, we've had a lot of high profile players we've had a lot of great games um, and we we've seen a lot of teams from around the state now just through doing this it's a dream it's also a labor of love and uh, like we said we can't do it without the fans we can't do it without sponsors that's right that's right. Our wives won't let us do it without sponsors, right? <laughs> right. Right. This ain't just we're just we're not just out here having a good time. Right. Just for nothing, you know. So um, let, let's talk about next week, by the way, while we've got it. Next yeah. week is a massive week for us and we'd love for you to tune in. Next week we're gonna have three conference championship type battles in football. We're gonna have Murfreesboro versus Mineral Springs on Thursday night. On Friday night, we're going to have a double feature where we're going to have Hazen and Carlisle, great rivalry there. And then on Friday as well, another great rivalry, a very unique rivalry in Hoxie and Walnut Ridge. If you're not very familiar with those two programs, Hoxie and Walnut Ridge literally border each other to the point that their, the Walnut Ridge baseball field was in the Hoxie School District for a little bit. And then we're going to have Williams Baptist College on Saturday with their homecoming game, which will be the first ever college basketball game on ASM. We are excited. Yes, sir. It's going to be a lot of fun. And right there, having a lot of fun is Michael Lynn Freeman as she hammers one home down the left side. Oh, Freeman, we're calling her name a lot. CAC getting off the schneid a little bit there. They needed that one bad. They need a few in a row here. We had a CAC football game this year but between them and Box Height, and that was a lot of fun. Yes. It's a great one. Had a great time that night. Marcus Wimberly for Box Height and Grayson Wilson and all the receivers. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. Hampton, oh, they're all sophomores. Wilson's just a junior for CAC. You got Hampton, Richie, Josiah, Warrior, Benson. Uh, there's a Jackson, all studs. And man, oh man, that offense is great. And it's going to be even better next year, it looks like. Yeah, they're going to be hard to handle next year. I really look at them kind of like an Elkins for this year, from last year, you know, a team that you kind of think. Yeah. They've got a chance to really contend for the state title next year. Yes, I agree. Left-handed hit. I think that was Kayla Myers. It was, and she gets the point. 13 to 4. Myers will check out. They're going to get Brighton in to serve. Brighton's a really good player for the Lady Mustangs. You know, Grayson Wilson, pretty good player on the basketball court, too. Very strong on the inside. He's about 6'4", legit, too. I mean, they might say 6'5 in basketball. Of course, I know we're here talking about volleyball, but I'll tell you what, Coach Matt Hall over there, 
love his style of play with that team. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, we hear always about positionless basketball, and he is playing position basketball, and I kind of like it. <laughs> right, it's kind of a blast from the past right. nowadays. So you're telling me they got a good five. They do, they, and, and Wilson is that. Oh, he is the five, okay. Wow. He's athletic. A lot of people think Arkansas is who he's committed to. A lot, they think they're just getting a pocket passer, and that's not true. He's got more than uh, able footwork. And strong. Dude is strong. Michael Lynn Freeman, her next serve. This one's a little shorter. That almost rode up the arm a little bit. They get it back across. That was Macy Wall. Big hit. Mackenzie Freeman, we got a net by, oh, we got a double hit. Well, what do we got? They held up two like a double hit, but I think it was a, maybe a violation on Brighton into the net. Number two. The only bad thing about our broadcast location here is you're behind the head judge, so it's hard to see what he's saying sometimes. 17-9, Lady Hornets taking care of business. Lady Mustangs got to go on a roll right now. Right now they got to deal with Freeman back here, Michael Lynn Freeman serving. See if they can break that and get it back. Little trouble. She hit it right into Jaden Smith. Too hot to handle that time. Nine point lead. CEC crowd trying to pump up their team. Trying to motivate them a little bit here. Jaden Smith, ah, right at the net, defended well from Hackett. Four hits, it never crossed. Never was touched by Hackett. Ten-point game. Wow, great serve. Laid out, though. Wall can't get it across in, in bounds, at least. Good effort from CC. Great serve, though. Lynn Freeman again, and she gets an ace, another one. She's had multiple. Putting the pressure on that back line. Twenty-one nine. I think see, they've scored at least five in a row since she's been back here. This time she goes soft. She's kind of alternating them, and they can't handle it. Ace after ace after ace after ace. Hey, Duran. Yeah. I know you're having a hard time seeing the scoreboard is actually 22-5. Oh, my Lord. I'm sorry. I thought it was nine. I apologize. That broadcast angle that you're at is a little bit tough, ain't it? Yeah, the, the basketball goal, the, the metal pole that comes down, it blocks one side of it. And on the other side, like the backboard blocks half of it. So... I need to do a better job of looking at both and figuring out the top of one side and the left of the other side. Do you have a computer down there beside you? I have my phone, but it's gotcha. delayed, so I don't pay attention to it as much. But yeah, 23-6 now. We've had a lot of stoppages in this set. Most of us, we've had all the tournament over here on this side at least. Now we're going to get a timeout called by Lynn Brown. They'll discuss it. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the rest of set two right after this on the Arkansas Sports Network. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. And we're back here at Valley Springs. It's been all hack at 23-6. They've won set 125-14. They're trying to Put CAC down two sets early in this one. And uh, CAC has a timeout uh, called by Lynn Brown, head coach. And they're trying to talk about what's going on over here and what they need to do to find some momentum to close out this set two and carry that over into set three. It's, it's been really tough. This has been a, a really good matchup 
over here, Hackett, just, just a really tough team. And so far, they haven't been able to figure out what's going to work for them to, to be super competitive in this. They got the serve right now. Still got some confusion, but. All right, we're ready now. Jordan Dodd. That serve, great job from the libero on the dig. Big hit. It's defended, but it falls down on the CAC side. Point for Hackett. That was number 13 reaching back. Aubrey Ruggles bringing the heat. Billy Oxford serving now. Set point, by the way. Yeah, set point. Thank you for reminding me. And there it is, 25-6. Hackett dominant in that second set. We're going to have three minutes before we get to set three. We'll take a little break. We'll be back right here on ASN. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now, because our focus is on your success. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Let's here. not come back. We have a black screen. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot, because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. In life, Things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Schedule for October 28th, bump it. Find your couch and spike it. Get around the big TV with all your friends and set it. Arkansas PBS and the Arkansas Activities Association is bringing you the 2023 Centennial Bank State Volleyball Championships presented by Everett Buick GMC. For all the ways to watch, just head over to the website, myarpbs.org slash sports.
yesterday on the broadcast, which I didn't have either one of these teams um, on the broadcast yesterday, but I got on the floor one time with Huntsville, who Huntsville, not as good as Hackett, you know, not as, as good as maybe Baptist Prep, which was when I was telling this story. And um, at that time, they had some girls that could really hit the ball. And you want to talk about that ball is coming very quickly. I promise yeah. you. I promise you. Very, very fast. I bet it's getting 65, 70 miles an hour. I don't know. I've never seen that kind of, you know, radar yeah. on a volleyball court. But I would definitely say some of those are 50 plus for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, got a lot of more comments we've left out. Uh, let's go back. Teresa Dubo says, keep your eyes on the hack of softball. Got Got to the Final Four last year. McKenzie is a pitcher. Pam Hill says rotation issues, issues it sounds like, need to work that out. Um, what else we got? Courtney Pond says, let's go, girls. Pam Hill says, thanks to whoever deleted the negative post. We do have moderators watching that. Probably our man, Mr. Bill Harshaw, working on there. Thank you. And I guess we didn't have no sound for a while. So if anybody had sound issues, we apologize. I think when we got muted earlier, we got forgot to yeah. unmute it possibly. Next time, we'll just play an ad so we don't have to do that. <laughs> Hit over, dug out. Can they get it back across? They will. Defended, but it's into the judge. Good attempt there from Macy Wall laying out. Couldn't straighten it back out. It's a nine-point lead for Hackett as Taylor Nichols goes back to serve. That one's hit straight to Walker. <coughs> Myers with the set, the big hit. And I think that might have been touched. They want it called. They say no, it was not touched. Point for the Lady Hornets. 14-4. This one into the libero. It was Dodd. Now Meyer set up, or is that 17? That was 17. Miss uh, Abby Twitty. And that was a big hit from her. And that's what they need, her and Myers. Got to get going. 21 checks in. Shelby Cowley, she'll serve it away. Libero was there. The pass. Defended well. Nice poke over from Atcherson, but they're going to set up Michael Lynn. This time she hits it into the net. Point for the Lady Mustangs. And they're going on a little bit of a row now. Down eight. Down two sets to none. They've got to make their move right now, Duran. That's correct. And not this time. As a great hit. I believe it was 13. Aubrey Ruggles. She showed up. They really ain't. I mean, their libero is the shortest girl out there right now. And, you know, a lot of teams have three or four girls her size on the court. <laughs> Smith sends it right over, but they're there. Now they set up McKenzie Freeman. The libero, Dodd, with a great job that time. And Smith can't make, get it back across as he hits the top of the net. Seems like Michael Lynn, every time she goes to the serve line, she's back there for an extended stay. Here she is again. She had multiple aces in last set. Smith gets it over, right to Nichols. Now they set up McKenzie, and it's a point. If you, yes. if you continue to hit them into the same people where they want it to go, you know, you got girls like Oxford and Nichols digging it out, and then they set it up to one of their setters and they set up their big hitters every time. It's just like right here. It's just so hard. And there's Ruggles, and it's in. Just a super impressive performance here by the Hackett Hornets. I mean, just unbelievable. CAC is a good team, mm -hmm. and uh, they're, just, they're just very, very good. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I was talking to the Dover, or the CAC coaches yesterday, telling them, 
we were going to interview them and a player if they won the game. And of course, I'm, I am from Dover, but working for the Arkansas Sports Network, I'm not going to call biased. And, you know, I'll let them know, hey, I am from Dover, but if y'all win, you know, we're going to come over and interview. They were just laughing. They thought it was so funny. And because uh, I was like, you know, even though I'm from Dover, good mm -hmm. luck, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but saying all that, why I'm saying it is because, I mean, I love my Dover program, but I feel bad for CAC right now because they're playing such a good team in Hackett, and they're a good ball club, and it, it, they don't look good right now, and, it, and it's not on them, trust us. Hackett is just that good, and I know the CAC fans right now are probably tired, probably got the volume down, tired mm. of hearing us talk about how good Hackett is, but we're trying to uh, let you know that we really like this CAC team, and they're really good, and they're just – Hackett is on another level right now of everybody, except there's a couple out here that I think are going give to them, give them a good game, and we'll see how it all pans out. You've got Arkansas Baptist. You've got Crowley's Ridge Academy. Uh, Valley Springs here, the host team. When they get things right, they're really good as well. Harding Academy, there's several, and I'm sure I've missed some that I can't think of off the top of my head. And I'll tell you, there's a pesky Harrisburg, Harrisburg team out there, that's, that's right. for sure. Who else won on your side yesterday? Um, yeah, we already talked about Harding Academy and Baptist Prep. There's one more winner. Uh, Paris was another one. Yeah, Paris. Paris there, there you go. That's another one that's just got something to say about it for sure. Uh, Paris has seen this Hackett team quite a bit. And, um, you know, Paris is also a team. I think they won five state championships mm -hmm. in the last 11 years. Oh, yeah. They're one of the top volleyball programs in the state. That is for sure. Yep, so. Especially at the 3A level. I think they hosted the state. Was it last year or the year before? Um, I'm not totally it, sure. It, I know something was there last I know year. Brooklyn, or something. I know Brooklyn hosted last year and Shiloh and hosted it. the year before. Right? Yeah, that's what we know. Michael Lynn Freeman, she's still back there. 23-6. <laughs> Ruggles with a great block. Trying to set up. Was that 23? Jordan Bell's over there. She'll get a point. That's just blocked out of bounds. 23-7. They finally get Michael Lynn Freeman off that serve line. But the separation has been quite large here. Back set, left-handed hammer. Point for Ruggles, and we've got match point as they're up 24-7. And they get the libero back, Lily Oxford to serve. We don't have uh, classes for these rosters. So CAC, not sure how many seniors they have right now. But that's going to be their last play right there in a CAC Mustang uniform. You always hate to see that. Heartbreak for one team. And the other team's in elation as they move on. But 25-7, they take them down in three straight sets. The Lady Hornets of Hackett have moved on to the third round, the semifinals of the state tournament. We'll be back right after this, and we're going to have the head coach and players of the game on the interview. Hook my headset and hook in the preacher mic. Do you know where the uh, mic is at? This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. One way that you can see a kid play, and that's the, that's the whole point of what we do, is to allow kids to be seen through the Arkansas Sports Network. We don't do highlight tapes, we do full games. Mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching us. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. So, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament. 
and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate Glad it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez is going to sit up. Manny Smith, he goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, though. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Tap. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desert, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor. All right, we're back here at Valley Springs. We've got the winning Lady Hornets here of Hackett. We've got their players of the game. We've got Aubrey Ruggles, Michael Lynn Freeman, and Prairie Vaughn, players of the game, head coach Bridget Freeman. What's it feel like moving on to the uh, third round now? It feels fantastic. I am just so excited. I want to keep going. I want to keep pushing. I want a gold ring, and I want the gold trophy. Man, we talked about that throughout our broadcast. That uh, we, don't, we, we know for y'all – and you know what you are showing so far that anything less than a state championship is, is not good enough. You know that's definitely y'all's go. Excellent job. Congratulations. Moving on, Michael Lynn, uh, one of the sisters here. Your mom, you're coaching. What's that like playing for your mom? Um, it's, it's good most of the time. Uh, she just treats us all the same, so it's fine. They, uh, you were back there at the serve line. I want to say for what. I felt like 10 straight points or something there. You really got it going. Do you like serving? Is that like one of your favorite parts? Or do you like uh, having those big plays up at the net? What, what, what's your favorite thing? I do not like serving. Um, serving? No, no. Um, I probably like passing the best, serve, receive. So one of the best offensive uh, hitters likes to pass. So, hey, if you got that kind of attitude on your team, it, that's going to work. Uh, We've got uh, Prairie Vaughn here, one of the best setters in the tournament. Talk to me about what this feels like moving on to the, to the third round now. It feels really good, and I feel like we'll just play better and better with the more momentum and the further that we move on. Yes, ma'am. So that's their players of the game as Hackett takes down CAC in three straight sets. Uh, they've won, they played six sets so far, one all six. Closest, I think, was 25-14 in the whole thing maybe. Um, so, just an excellent job, girls. We really appreciate it. Coach, let me get you in here. I'll come to this side. And uh, how do you feel right now, moving on right now to the to the third round? Um, who do you all got the winner of? Do you know how it lays out? Uh, Kelly Bridge and Rob. Um, Valley. Yeah, Valley Springs. Yeah, Valley Springs. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, yeah, Curly Springs and uh, – or Curly, Curly Springs. <laughs> Curly Ridge and uh, Valley Springs. Tell me – um, what do you see from both of those teams, and what do y'all got to do to get a victory against them? Well, you know, we just really try to take it one game at a time. That's kind of how it's been all season. I've got very humble kids. When I said I need some kids to go over here for an interview, they said, okay, you can go, you can go. You know, it just didn't matter to them. And so they're kind of trading out who wants to go. And so I think with that attitude and then taking one at a time, you know, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll go look at film for the next game, you know, and kind of wait and see who we play. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and that's awesome to see the humbleness on your team. And we talked about it during a broadcast that, that uh, 
Y'all got a lot of talent. I mean, it's evident. You got a lot of size. But we also talked about that that there's a lot of teams that have talent, and they're not at this level. They're not playing like they are. And we, we feel like that's great coaching that's kind of got them to where they're at. Um, we don't just see talent out here. We see them obviously digging it out. They're passing it. They're, you got good setters. They're setting each other up. And uh, that's a credit to you and, and your assistant coaches and uh, just a great job. And we're really excited to watch y'all as y'all continue on through this. Good luck moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Coach Bridger Freeman and the Lady Hornets. All right, we're we're uh, <clears throat> we're gonna close things out here. I I think we are. Anyway, we're gonna just stay tuned with us as you can see this uh, the bracket brought to you by Duval Family Insurance. Um, Hackett is the first one to move on into tomorrow's state semifinal. They will play at one p.m. To, well, I say that I better correct myself. I need to see a bracket on that. They'll be the first game tomorrow. They'll play the winner of Crowley's Ridge and the uh, winner of. Um, I'm sorry, the winner of Valley Springs and Col Crowley's Ridge. Tonight, we've got some great uh, matchups for you on tap, so make sure that you stay tuned with us all day long. I think we're going to kill the stream. We've got about 60 minutes between uh, now and the next game, and so just hang here, uh, and we'll get all of this out on Facebook again if you're following us on Facebook uh, for the next ball game, which we're expecting a great crowd here for the homestanding Valley Springs Tigers and the Crowley's Ridge Falcons. So thank you for joining us here once again. Uh, Hackett wins in straight sets, 3-0. to zero, And uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes. Well, more than a few minutes. <laughs> 60 minutes for the next matchup. So stay tuned with us. Thank you for watching Arkansas Sports Network. Like, share, and subscribe. We thank you so much. We'll see you later.